everyone, I'm Andrea Hood, and today I'm going to give you three simple tips on how you can save money while shopping at your local farmer's market this spring and summer. So the first tip, you always want to come prepared, so make a list. You can either use it on your phone or, you know, the old-fashioned way with a good old piece of paper and pen. Um, make a list so you have an idea of what you want to make that week um, for food. However, when shopping at a farmer's market, you have to be a little bit more flexible. Uh, because they might not have the spinach that you want on your list, or they might only have a certain, um, you know, something else that, that, that you weren't. So you have to be a little bit flexible with that. Um, my second tip for you is that you always want to shop or browse the aisles before making any purchases. Um, I, I do this every single time I come to the farmer's market because there's sometimes one farm could be selling a pound of beef for six dollars a pound and another farm down a couple rows could be selling it for ten dollars a pound so if you're really on a strict budget that's something that you need to keep in mind and that's something you need to be um, you know watch out for you want to be able to um, you know eat locally but according to your budget so that's something I always do um, third tip is you want to buy in bulk whenever you can. Buy in bulk and buy what's in season. Now, farmers markets always have what's in season, but a lot of times, like when tomatoes are really popular in August when they're blooming and, you know, ripening, a lot of times farmers will sell them in bulk. It's like, you know, if you buy, you know, X amount of pounds, you can save X amount of dollars or something like that. And today, actually, I just saw um, a sale for some basil plants. You could buy a single plant for, yeah, I think it was like, you know, $2, or you could buy a six pack for like, three dollars so it was um you know that's that's definitely a savings right there also when buying things like maple syrup honey things like that you know the smaller amounts are are a certain price and then usually for not much more you can get the bigger bottles so that's another thing you want to think about is buying in bulk so i hope you found these three tips useful and i hope they can save you some money when you're at the farmer's market next time so remember to shop local and support your local economy because it's really 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 good for your body as well. When you shop local, you get a lot more nutrients and vitamins as opposed to all the the you know the foods getting trucked halfway across the country or across the country. So it's really important to to shop local and support your body and the local economy. So so thanks for watching. If you like this video, please go on go on over to my blog, be healthy, be happy, be local.com for more healthy living tips and recipes. See you there. Thanks.